hi guys um thank you for watching uh so today i'm i'm going to show you how i make githeri githeri is a mixture of maize and beans uh this one is eaten in east africa i'll say probably in, in kenya and very easy to make what i did with this one is that i i used fresh beans uh dried beans I'm, I'm using rose cocoa beans uh, if you have um, kidney beans or any other red kind of beans you can use that and I'm using um, the maize I was sent by my friend from Kenya so yeah these are fresh maize as well so what I did is only I boiled I actually soaked the beans first overnight and then I boiled them in the pressure cooker for an hour so that's how they look like I'm going to fry them with some uh, potatoes I have here four small potatoes that I've peeled I need water at the moment I'm going to use some uh, fresh tomatoes carrots and uh, an onion and one red chili I'm going to use some tomato puree you will need some salt some cooking oil of any kind that you have you can use and I'm going to use some beef cubes if you have vegetable stock you can use that i have this one as well it's called roiko it comes from kenya as well i might use that one or just use the cubes by themselves so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the cooking on a medium heat add in your cooking oil so i'm gonna add like maybe a tablespoon or so of oil in there because i want the the dairy not to be too dry so my pan is hot what I'm going to do I'm going to add in my onions and I'll fry these until just uh, translucent just the color has turned a little bit so this is going to take three to four minutes to turn color So while the uh, onions are frying, I'm going to add like a, maybe a tablespoon or a teaspoon and a half of uh, tomato puree, tomato paste. And I will just leave it. I'm not going to start it. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to cover it for a few minutes because I want the, the taste, the rawness of the tomato puree to disappear. So I'm going to cook it like that without mixing it because I don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan. And by adding the tomato puree, tomato paste at the beginning actually helps with the thickening and very, very nice color as well. So at this stage, I'm going to add in my carrots because I want them to soften a little bit. So give those three minutes and then I'll add in the tomatoes. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my my tomatoes and the chili, fresh chili. Give that a stir, a good stir, mixing. <coughs> tomatoes just to soften them for a few minutes and then I'm gonna come and add in the the potatoes go ahead and check the tomatoes They haven't fully softened. So at 
this stage what I'm going to do I'm going to add in my beef cubes that I'm using uh, <clears throat> if you don't like cubes of any kind you can just cover it again and give it a couple more minutes uh, let it cook let the tomatoes cook uh, the is very um, is used so much in uh, in Kenya particularly I remember being in school in boarding school and I think we ate it nearly every single day and whenever I finish school I was like I'll never want to eat githeri again but it's been a couple of years I haven't even eaten it so I just thought it would be a good idea to try something that I that I grew up uh, eating so um, at this stage I'm just gonna cover that another few minutes give the tomatoes a chance to soften because I don't want them to where I put the, the potatoes and then they're they're tough so yes that's perfect now um, put that aside you can see the lovely color that the um, puree created so at this stage go on and add in your, your potatoes mix that in well cook every potato with the um, with other ingredients I'm going to give this a, a, just a drop of water a drop of hot water uh, and then I'll let this probably come to a boil or a simmer 10 minutes just to give the, the, the potatoes a chance to, to soften a little bit and then I'm going to add in my githeri <clears throat> looking pretty good so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and add in my githeri I'm going to add maybe a, it's a half a cup another one in that cup first and see how much that can look it looks lovely already. So what I'm going to do with this one, a um, few more minutes for the potatoes to cook. I'm going to give the githeri a chance to marry and you know get all the flavors from other ingredients. Uh, I'm going to add in another drop of water because I don't want the food to catch at the bottom. So I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and I'll check it and see whether it's cooked, whether it's um, how it is. But first of all, before I do that, I'm just going to add a pinch of salt. Uh, be careful with salt because uh, if you've added any uh, beef stocks or so, uh, chicken stock vegetable stock they tend to have salt in them so the best thing is just to add a little and then if you you're having your dinner and it's not salty enough you can add it then so it's easier to to add in than to take out so I'm gonna let that cook in for a few minutes so my githeri has just finished cooking the potatoes are soft and the my stew was thickened a little bit as I wanted it to, so I'm just gonna turn off my heat, my <laughs> my hob, and yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. Whenever you try, let me know how it is. Uh, take care, and I'm just gonna actually serve this now that I'm here.